Good job, buddy. Good job. Go, go. All right, guys, what's up? So I'm out here in my hay field uh, where I have a little path mown around the edges for Weston to ride his PW50. And I'm out here on the one wheel pint. I've now had this thing for about a week and I've put uh, about 15 miles on it. And basically I'm just gonna make some laps around the field here, probably fall a bunch of times. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about my first impressions and thoughts uh, after one week and 15 miles on the one wheel pint. First of all, my number one thought, these things are way tougher to ride off-road than it looks in the commercials. Way tougher. Um, maybe the XR is easier, I've never been on one, but the pint, good job buddy, go, go, go. But the pint with its kind of like concave tire, uh, it, it just different setup is so sketchy to me on the road. And I know I'm still a beginner rider, but uh, off-road, but uh, I didn't realize it would be quite this tough. So that's my, that's the number one thing that jumps out at me when I'm thinking about the one wheel. All right, so probably your first question if you're a beginner or if you've never rode a one wheel is how long did it take me to get the hang of it? And I would say to get pretty comfortable on concrete, it took me two hours or about uh, four or five miles of playing around in my driveway, in my yard, and in some gravel. By the time I was done with all that, I mean, I probably fell off a hundred times. By the time I was done with all that, I was pretty comfortable in the beginner or like redwood mode. Um, just carving around on concrete the next day. I took it out on the public road and down some back streets and actually uh, commuted on a little bit and felt fine And I just fell off but so basically what I'm saying is if you hop on one of these and it's your friends and you don't feel comfortable in the first like five minutes don't let it stop you from getting one because uh, you really won't believe how much more comfortable you'll feel in just a couple hours. And I'm already noticing that like, I'm getting way more comfortable, it seems like every day. So I figured I would have plateaued a little by now, um, but not the case, I keep getting more and more comfortable. So after those first couple hours, when I started to get comfortable, I started to be able to carve and make tight turns and started to really shift my weight on the board. Uh, do things that I didn't even think were possible when I was first on it. However, this is when the danger zone starts, guys. I'm just here to tell you, uh, especially if you start really pushing down on the front of the board to accelerate fast from a stop, and you know, you're a heavier guy like me, I'm like 212 pounds at the moment, um, it's easy to nosedive the front of this board and bottom it out and throw you off the front. And of course, that's the way a lot of people have been injured. Um, you know, Casey Neistat broke his collarbone like that. I could definitely see where it could happen. Maybe if you're cruising down a city street and you're just being kind of lackadaisical and not paying attention, yes, it could throw you off and land you right on your face or your shoulders. However, uh, every time I bottomed out the front so far, uh, I've just it just kind of thrown me off one of my feet. Maybe it's because I'm not going 20 miles an hour. I'm usually more like 10 to, 10 to 14, but uh, I've always been able to catch myself so far, so. Um, and probably, I don't know, hundreds of falls already. I've never actually hit the ground. I've always landed on my feet. Yeah, just jumping in here post edit guys. One other thing I wanted to add was the looks of the board. Don't get me wrong, I ordered the fender, I ordered the thing, and I ordered the um, rail guards before I even got the board. But the rail guards, uh, they came in a little late. So I had to ride the board and try it out without those on tried it out on, on uh, my driveway on the concrete and I'm telling you the first time you drop the board it's gonna scratch the side rails are gonna scratch I kind of wish they would put bumpers or something on them because they just get destroyed so it bummed me out the first time it bummed me out the second time it bummed me out the fifth and tenth time and probably about the 20th time 
It didn't bum me out anymore. I see everybody else's boards, and it's like, now the scratches are just part of it, guys. They're part of the design. And if it gets too bad, I'll just put some vinyl over top of it. So that's that on the looks of the board. It took me one evening and I was over scratching it. Just banging the crap out of it now. So uh, I think if you're just paying somewhat attention to what's going on, you probably will be able to catch yourself. But my, the problem for me is it's created a bunch of anxiety because like, uh, you know, I don't know if it's me being 212 pounds or maybe I'm just trying to accelerate faster than this thing's meant to go. But I feel like my the front edge of my board is always just like centimeters from catching the ground and bottoming out. And uh, that really sketches me out. I don't like that feeling. So I've been riding on elevated mode. Um, if you don't know what elevated mode is, it keeps the front of the board up. And uh, that way you don't have to tip the front of the board down as much to get going. Uh, so you have, there's much less chance that you're going to snag your board. The problem with this and why people don't like it is it puts you in a weird riding position because your, whichever leg's your dominant leg or your leg up front uh, is always going to be a little higher and probably going to have more pressure on it. Good job. Go, go, go. So, uh, but I've kind of gotten used to it and I don't ride great distance great distances normally so uh if uh if it makes me feel a little safer and kills that snag anxiety then it's worth it to me to ride and elevate it now the fix for the front of your board occasionally dropping is the fang setup if you're not familiar with that it puts the it puts the uh skate wheels on the front so if you do snag hopefully it's gonna roll instead of dig in i bought that i haven't installed it yet I have a fender, I haven't installed it yet. I have the rail guards, haven't installed them yet either. So I'm gonna make some more videos, but this is just kind of first impressions. Yes, I love it, it's very cool. Uh, I wanna, I couldn't tell you if you should buy the XR over the pint yet. I want, I have to ride an XR, but it's twice the price guys. This pint's pretty sweet. So those are my first impressions. Uh, I'm gonna do a few more videos on like, my 10 favorite things and my 10 least favorite things and probably some videos putting these mods on it. Um, for all you moto guys, yes, this is a moto channel. This is not changing to a one wheel channel, um, but man, it's just, this is a wheel, this is a tire. I'm riding at the same place. Weston's riding his P-Dub. Go, 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 go. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you moto guys won't care if I put up a little one wheel videos and any of you one wheel guys that come by, uh, welcome. Hope you guys subscribe and hang out with us moto dudes too. So all right guys, that's kind of my first impressions and I'll be back with an update when I can. See you in the next one.